Hi guys, Akshata here from Akshata's Recipes with yet another easy, quick and delicious recipe. Well, with Easter just around the corner, I'll be showing you a very simple peanut butter and chocolate Easter egg. It's so easy to make. You can make it into a family event, get your kids and friends involved. It's simple and the best part, it's completely rich. So guys, let's head on to the recipe and let's start making this peanut butter and chocolate Easter egg. Well friends, for our recipe of making this peanut butter and chocolate Easter egg, we require one cup of ground digestive biscuit. Here I've used Mari biscuits. Then we require half a cup of peanut butter. You can use the chunky peanut butter or you can use the smooth peanut butter you require exactly half a cup then you require quarter cup of icing sugar and it should be really fine and if you can sieve it that's much better and just a pinch of salt and we require one fourth cup of melted butter so let's get started now we will first take our peanut butter empty it into a bowl Now to this, we'll be adding our melted butter. Now we're going to give this a good whisk till it becomes nice and smooth. Now we will add in our icing sugar. and the pinch of salt. Give all of this a very good mix. And now it's time to add a biscuit powder. Again, give all of this a good mix. It has to become into a soft dough, very uh, similar to a cookie dough. I'm using my hands because that's the best tool we have. So just mix everything together. Massage it well till it all comes together. Now for this you have to ensure that your icing sugar is very smooth. So I have ground the, uh, the sugar in the mixer and then I sieved it. So here we have the dough ready. Now I've just lined a baking tray with some baking pa paper or parchment paper. There isn't any baking in this dish but we have to set these uh, Easter eggs. Now I got these Easter egg molds. You can either make a shape of an egg freehand or you can use these molds for a better shape. I'll show you both the freehand one and the one with the mold. So just fit it into the mold. And just flip it. So you get a nice round shape like this or you can do one freehand. These molds are very easily available in the market, especially in uh, Bandra, the place I love to shop. Okay, so you just make a shape like this 
an oblong kind of shape with your hands. Okay, so I'll just finish making these. So with the quantity I've used, I've got exactly eight half halves like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this into our refrigerator for at least half an hour. And then it gets very interesting. We're just going to dip it into some yummy melted chocolate. Let it set again and then put some lovely sprinkles in it and decorate it. And it's going to look fab. So right now I'm just going to put it into my refrigerator and let it cool down and set for half an hour. So now friends, we have our peanut butter uh, eggs all shaped. They have been in the refrigerator for half an hour. Here I have my melted chocolate and a few sprinkles. So now let's get started. So now with the help of two forks, I will just pick this egg gently and just coat it with some yummy chocolate you can use milk chocolate or dark chocolate i have used dark chocolate then just lift it up like this so all the excess uh, chocolate gets dropped just hold it for about half a minute so that all the excess chocolate gets dropped and then again we're going to lay it back on the baking sheet so I'll show you one more. Just lift that up. It's already nice and, you know, it's quite solid because it's been in the fridge for half an hour. Then dip it using two forks. Lift it. Just shake off all the excess chocolate. If you like white chocolate, you can use white chocolate too. And then just very carefully place it on your sheet again. So I'll do the rest of them and then we'll go to the decoration part with sprinkles. So now I've coated the eggs with the chocolate and now we're going to just put some sprinkles on it and then we're going to put it back into our refrigerator to sit for at least another 30 minutes. So you can just put sprinkles to make it nice and decorative. Either you put it all over the egg or as you wish in the center only. I will be coming up with two more Easter egg recipes 
so look out for those one will be the traditional marzipan recipe and the other one is a surprise i think it looks better with the sprinkles only in the middle right So now, here they are all ready. Now all I have to do is just put this in the refrigerator to sit for half an hour. And now that the eggs have set, we just have to shape them up a little because they have a little excess chocolate at the side. So what you do is just take a potato peeler or a knife and just remove the excess chocolate. So you get a nice egg shape. like this and now all I've done is I've just taken a cupcake holder and put our beautiful Easter eggs in it so doesn't that look pretty you can just take any cupcake holder nowadays you get beautiful designs and just put your little egg in it And here I've just cut up one to show you how delicious this looks peanut butter chocolate doesn't that look yummy so here friends is the amazing peanut butter and chocolate Easter eggs so easy to make and so pretty I'm sure your kids are going to gorge on them. So I hope you do try out this recipe on Easter eggs. Now here I've taken 200 grams of cashew nuts, soaked them for two hours, and then I'm going to grind them to a very, very smooth and fine paste. Now transfer this paste to a bowl. So here is our 200 grams of cashew nut paste. Now I'm going to take an equal quantity that is 200 grams of icing sugar, one egg white and one teaspoon of almond essence. Now I'm first going to um, beat the egg a bit. So just beat the egg white, add the egg white to the cashew nut paste. Just mix it in well. And then I'm going to add the almond essence and I'm going to mix every, all the three ingredients really well together. So ensure that your cashew nut paste is really smooth. It shouldn't have any cashew nut pieces. It shouldn't have any cashew nut, you know, or like there should not be any lumps. It should be a very smooth paste. Now I'm going to transfer this paste to a heavy bottomed pan. Now my flame is not on yet, that is the, the heat is not turned on yet. So first transfer this paste along with the, you know, the almond essence and the egg white in it to a heavy bottomed pan. And now we're going to add the sugar, that is the icing sugar also to this paste. Mix the two well. And then all we have to do now is just turn the heat on to a low to medium flame and continuously stir this till it becomes, you know, into this real uh, uh, hard kind of uh, paste that is the marzipan paste. It will come together. It takes about 20 minutes of stirring. 
so first it will turn into this liquid kind of uh, consistency and then slowly it starts to harden up and then starts leaving the sides of the pan so just keep stirring use a wooden spoon with a long handle because this does get a lot you know heated up a bit so just keep stirring it and then it will thicken about you know after 20 minutes it will thicken and become into a you know like one kind of mask and start leaving the sides of the pan so once that is done you're just going to transfer it to a plate and you're going to knead it into the smooth dough now once you have your dough in place you're going to add icing sugar to it a little at a time and you're going to knead it in this form till it becomes into a very hard kind of dough So just keep on adding icing sugar. So altogether I added about uh, four tablespoons of icing sugar. And then I'm just going to roll it out like this. And I'm going to put it into the egg mold. Take off the excess. Just shape it up a bit. And then I'm going to fill it up with corn flour and we are going to set this aside for 12 hours to set. So I've done this with the remaining dough. I've used the other egg mold and I've also used my plastic uh, egg mold like this. And I've set it for 12 hours. That's very important. So fill it up with corn flour and set it aside for 12 hours. Now after 12 hours, just demold it like this and take off all the excess corn flour brush off all the excess corn flour and your egg hollow marzipan egg is all ready it comes off very easily from the egg mold ensure that all the corn flour is brushed off And then I'm just going to paint it with a little bit of melted chocolate. I'm using dark melted chocolate. So just brush some melted chocolate. You can melt your chocolate on a, ha on a double boiler or in the microwave. And then all you have to do friends is just, you know, fill it up with some M&Ms or some gems, seal it up and just decorate it with some lovely icing. That's all. And your lovely hollow marzipan Easter eggs are all ready. I'll leave a link to all my other marzipan recipes. I mean, all my Easter egg recipes in the description box below. You can go and check them out. So do try out this recipe and I'll catch you in my next video.
hollow Easter eggs. Now here I have half a tablespoon of gelatin and I have one fourth cup of cold water and I have 300 grams of icing sugar. Now we're going to add the water to a bowl and we're then going to add the gelatin to the water and we're going to mix the two of them really really well till all of the gelatin dissolves in this cold water. So mix the gelatin or whisk it in really well till all of the gelatin mixes really well with the cold water. Then we're going to let this gelatin bloom. That is, it's going to be, we're going to set it aside for five minutes exactly. Put a timer on your phone. And after five minutes, I'm going to microwave this for 30 seconds in my microwave, or you can also use a double boiler. Now I've taken a large plate, and to that, I'm going to add half of the icing sugar. Then I'm going to make a well in between, and I'm going to, in the middle, and then I'm going to add half of the gelatin mix. Mix this really, really well. Then I'm going to add the remaining gelatin mix. Again, mix everything well together. Use a spoon. And then after that, we're just going to keep on adding the icing sugar till all of the icing sugar is used. And then we're going to start kneading this to form a very smooth and soft dough. So just keep on adding the icing sugar a little at a time and just keep on kneading it and you'll get this very soft and elastic kind of dough. Like this. So now you can see it's very, very soft. So now I've just divided it up into three parts and I'm going to add gel food color. So I'm going with the colors blue, yellow and green. So you can add colors of your choice. So now that our dough for the Easter eggs is ready, we can proceed. Now either you can use these aluminium molds or you can use this plastic mold. Now all we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the dough and we are going to roll it out into a one inch thickness uh, kind of a uh, roti or you know just roll it out a bit into a small circle of one inch thickness. This dough is very easy to work with. And then I'm just going to put it into the egg mold like this, very gently. Just press it in with your thumbs. And then just take off all the excess and then just shape it up like I have done. Just take off the excess like this. It just comes off very easily. And then just start shaping it up with your fingers. And you, uh, you can keep the uh, remaining dough back into the, uh, the color that, I mean, the yellow into the yellow. Don't mix up the colors. And then with your fingers, just very neatly, uh, you know, you can press the other mold also. So that it gives a nice shape. And just shape it up like this. The edges also just smoothen out the edges. And it should look like this, the finished product. That is after you dirty, you know, carefully shape it up. And so I'm going to do the same with all the remaining uh, dough. Now, whenever you're making it, ensure that you have two of the same color. Since we are making the hollow eggs. So you have two yellows, two greens, two blues to start off with. And like I said, this dough is so easy to work with. It's very flexible. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the plastic mold. And now I'm going to pack it up with corn flour. Just pack it up with a teaspoonful or two teaspoons full of corn flour. And we're going to keep this aside for 12 hours. That is very important because then only it will set properly. So put the corn flour inside, just press it down gently and set it aside for 12 hours at room temperature. You don't need to refrigerate it. And after 12 hours, you can just take off all the corn flour, dust off all the excess corn flour. Now, 
Now we're using corn flour because corn flour doesn't stick. Like if you were to use all-purpose flour or any other flour, it would have stuck and it would be it would be very difficult. But corn flour doesn't stick; it has that consistency. So dust it all off very well before we demold it. Now I want to thank my friend Neelesh Kadbadkar for this recipe. Thank you so much, Neelesh. You've always been so helpful with all, uh, you know, every time I come to you for a recipe, you always help me out. So thank you so much. And then just demold it like this and you can see you get the perfect hollow. So just dust off all the excess. And in the same way, you demold all the others like this and let them sit aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. And our hollows are ready and now we're ready to fill them up with some goodies and decorate them too. So now I'm just going to add some gems. You can add M&Ms or you can add any little chocolates of your choice. And then I've just made a small, uh, you know, syrup. I've used four table, uh, two teaspoons of uh, icing sugar with one tablespoon of water and mixed it. And then I've just used it as a glue to glue the two uh, eggs together. So you can just uh, you know uh, put the gems inside and then with your finger tip or with a brush just apply the uh, sugar liquid at the edges so that the other part can you know get it gets sealed in that way and then just press it down and don't worry if there are any gaps because we're going to fill it up with some icing So that acts like a glue or a binding agent and just press it down and set it aside for about 10 minutes. And then you just put some beautiful icing on it. I can, I'll leave the link to my royal icing recipe and then decorate it with little flowers and you know, it, the, the, the sky is the limit for decorating these eggs. And you can see the lovely hollow with all the little goodies filled inside. And that's it friends, our hollow Easter eggs are all ready. So do try out this recipe and I'll catch you in my next video. Filled chocolate baskets. So I've melted about 100 grams of milk chocolate compound in the microwave. You can also use a double boiler. And I have these silicone, uh, you know, cupcake molds. So I've just poured a little bit of it and I'm just going to swirl the cup. So that the chocolate goes all over the cup. This is really very easy to do but take your time with it and see that every little corner of this uh, mold gets nicely coated with the chocolate. So just keep swirling it round and round till it goes to every little corner like you can see I'm doing over here. And then it will look like this and then you've got to refrigerate this for 30 minutes. So I made about six molds and I refrigerated it. Now in the meantime, let's prepare the mousse. So here I've taken 100 milliliters of fresh cream and I'm just going to whisk this for five minutes on a high. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of powdered sugar. Again, whisk it very well. You can also use a hand whisk. Now I'm just going to add about one tablespoon of chocolate syrup. So I'm using the Hershey's chocolate syrup just to give it a very light chocolate flavor. Again, I'm going to beat this for another three minutes. And once it's done, I'm just going to scrape the sides of the bowl, cover it in some cling foil or a you know plastic foil you can also just put a plate on top of it and you're going to put it into the refrigerator for at least one hour till the mousse sets now our chocolate cups uh, have or baskets have nicely set so i'm just going to demold them now the silicone works really very uh, you know i mean it's really very easy to handle and you can see that it comes off comes off really really easily Now I did get just one broken cup, but I'm just going to put this back into the microwave and again set it. So it's really very easy. So nothing goes to waste. So if any of your cups do break uh, or baskets do break, just put them back into the microwave or on a double boiler and again set them. Now 
So in this way, I got about five uh, baskets. If you want them thicker, then you can just put another, you know, like once it sets to this point, you can again uh, put it back into the cupcake holder and again put a little layer of chocolate. So now my mousse has nicely set. I'm just going to use my ice cream scooper and I'm just going to fill up these baskets with the mousse. You can use a regular spoon. So I'm just going to fill this up. The mousse itself is so delicious. So I'm trying to get all of that mousse inside. You can also add different flavors. You can use your imagination with the mousse. You can add different, different flavors and make it yummy. And now I'm just going to swirl it a bit so that it all gets nicely evened out. And again, I'm going to refrigerate this for about 30 minutes. Here you can see that the mousse is nice and set after refrigerating it for 30 minutes. And now I'm just going to decorate it with some nutties that I have at home, which resemble small little, uh, you know, eggs. Or you can just decorate them with any kind of edible flowers. Or you can just use your imagination and make them look really pretty. I was just working with whatever I had at home. And now I have these little cupcake holders. So I'm just going to put them into that. Make them look even much more pretty. And you have to refrigerate this uh, till you serve it. You know, it has it is a cold dessert. So you have to serve it uh, chilled. And uh, here you can see the mousse is nice and set. And believe me guys, the mousse is so yummy. I just can't stop having it. It's so delicious. So these are our lovely mousse filled chocolate baskets. Hope you give this recipe a try. So I hope you like today's recipe as well as today's video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up. So just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.